Are you my supervisor today, Grumpy? Yeah, I think you're sticking around close because it, uh, it's gonna rain. You can tell. Good morning, number two. Do you have an egg for me? Yes, she does. All right, I think this is uh, two days in a row, number two. All right. Good morning from Bobblehead Homestead. I am Jeff. Today is Friday, uh, 54 degrees, mostly cloudy and windy. We had some sprinkles last night, some more sprinkles this morning, um, and the bugs are still insane. Yeah, and I've got one of those bug hats with the screen on it, but I've already packed it, and I don't know if I've already taken it down there or not, but I need to find that thing. I wonder how my beard will fit under there. Maybe I can tuck it in my shirt. I'll figure it out. Because, yeah, if I want to get anything done today, I'm going to need that bug hat. So I'm going to go look for that next. Uh, yeah, and it's just um, all kinds of bugs. Uh, buffalo gnats are one of them. And those things are out for blood. Literally. <laughs> it's not just regular gnats. And there's flies and mosquitoes. And I think just about every bug in Arkansas came to life. And they are... Uh, I mean, it's just thick in the air. It's just thick with bugs in the air. I don't, I've, uh, well, I remember seeing this a few times, but it usually only lasts a day or two, then they're gone. So I'm hoping that's the case again, because they and they keep landing on my glasses. It's just bug insanity. All right, um, it's starting to sprinkle again. So I've uh, got an egg haul, and I'll go ahead and show you that before I have to take them inside. This is my 10 a.m. egg haul. Uh, yeah, we're still early in the day, but a uh, nice number two egg, yes, and then uh, that one is a an attempt at an olive egger that did not get the blue egg gene. So she's, uh, yeah, um, just a brown egg layer, but she puts a cool little bloom on it, and I don't know, it looks a uh, peach, almost a pink color, and so I like those. I found it. So we got some dust bathing going on here and it includes our chicken of the day, Mrs. B. Say hello, Mrs. B. She is a first generation olive eager. Um, I had a Welsimer rooster, Walter was my first Welsimer rooster and he was the father and she's got the muffs and beard so i'm guessing that private benjamin was her mother and uh yeah she's got a story um all right uh my neighbor bulldozer man had some chickens uh he no longer has them he gave his last one to me but he had a hen uh who turned out to be vicky lawrence she went broody 
and he offered to hatch some eggs for me so I gave him eight eggs and he stuck them under her and Vicki Lawrence uh, hatched the eggs and raised them and then uh, after they had hatched he brought Vicki Lawrence and the eight baby chicks over here and Mrs. B is one of those eight baby chicks the first uh, uh, first baby chicks they weren't hatched here but they were raised here they hatched next door and uh, so Mrs. B is a little F1 olive egg, or she lays a light green egg. And she got her name um, from the Self Reliant Road Show. When the Self Reliant Road Show with Prep Stetter Bob and Mrs. B came down to help us out, uh, she decided to go broody. That's the only time she's ever been broody. No, I take that back. She's been broody two or three times. But, uh, so she is named in honor of Mrs. B, who is such a tremendous help uh, getting my tiny cabin up and running. So, yes, Mrs. B is our chicken of the day. She's a beautiful girl. A lot of uh, welsomer in her, the brown coloring. But uh, also some white and true blue in her with the beard and the muffs going. And some beautiful lacing on, on her feathers. It's just not all one color. It's multicolored feathers very cool and uh, Mrs. B has two uh, younger sisters that look a lot like her but uh, she is she stands out she's bigger and she's a little bit lighter colored so I can usually tell her apart from the others and she's just having a grand old time with the dust bath right now you better get that dust bath in because it looks like it's gonna rain yes it does We got a lot of cackling going on in here. What's the deal? Yeah? Two more nice big white and true blue eggs. That's what all the cackling's about. Hey, this thing works pretty well, except when it, where it touches me, they can, yeah, they're still bugging me. They're still bugging me. It's it's only like a tenth as bad as it was without this little screen thing. But they're landing all over the place. There are like five of them on me right now. You probably can't see them. Uh, yeah. So not a whole lot going on today. It sprinkled a little bit, let up. Sprinkled a little bit, let up. We're supposed to get rain uh, the rest of today and then tomorrow. So I've got no idea. Uh, what else can I tell you? Um, several more of the black copper morons have hatched. So those were due to start hatching tonight. But it looks like I've got at least 10 have hatched so far out of 20 eggs in there and a few more pips. So uh, keeping my fingers crossed, that's a, that's a good hatch on those. Uh, what else can I talk about? Not a whole lot. My eye is still bugging me from whatever bug. These are buffalo gnats. Have I already mentioned that? So they're out for blood, literally. They're out for blood. They're not like a regular gnat that you just shoo away. These are buffalo gnats. They're like uh, mosquito type things. And uh, yeah, they're no fun. Uh, some of these are buffalo. Some of them are regular gnats. Some of them are uh, flies. Some of them are little green things. And I don't know. It's like every bug in Arkansas decided to get active all at the same time. And I'm not really enjoying it that much. But at least, hey, I got my screen hat on. Ah, uh, okay. I think that's all tomorrow. We'll see what the weather's like. I might have some, uh, some excitement going tomorrow. I'm not sure yet. But for today, I'm going to take it easy the rest of the day. Everybody's taken care of. Um, and we're all good. So, thanks for watching. Thanks for a great opportunity uh, to get eaten alive by bugs. Take it easy, everybody.